back to my channel. Um, I wanted to share a little bit with you all today. Um, this new year, um, I really wanted to focus on saving money. I noticed that I was just overspending money, um, overspending in general. I was shopping way too much. So I wanted to find a way to grab a hold of that. Um, shop a little bit less, save a little bit more money, but not completely stop shopping because I do love to shop. So, um, a couple of different things that I started this year. Um, one, I started saving for Christmas in January. So each week I totally take out money from my paycheck. So $20 every single week. Um, and I put it in a Christmas fund. I also do $10 a week for a birthday fund. So we always have money for everybody in my family to get a very nice birthday gift. Um, I also started saving for date night so me and my husband can go out and not worry about if we have money to go out or if we don't have money to go out because I'm continuously saving. So um, each week we also get a spending fund. So each week we are allowed $20 for anything that we want other than groceries and gas. So that $20 would go for a new lipstick, or a new face makeup, or a new shirt, or uh, the coffee shop, or the juice shop, whatever. So each week I do get $20 of spending money. I also joined a couple, I have um, like some su subscriptions. So I have a subscription to Ipsy. If you want to know more about that, just let me know and I would love to do a video to let you know a little bit more about what Ipsy is. Um, also, I have a subscription to Little Black Bag, so I have that one prescription or a subscription each month. It really is a prescription, a shopping prescription, because you can't stop shopping. Anyway, if you want to learn a little bit more about a Little Black Bag, let me know and I would be happy to do a review because I do get a Little Black Bag box with my stuff each month. Um, so come out down below and let me know if that's something you want to know more about. But what I'm going to talk to you in specifics today and what you're going to see on this video is um, my little way of saving to go shopping at the mall. So not waiting for something to come in the mail um, and stuff like that because Ipsy and Little Black Bag are something that come in the mail and you completely shop online. But I, this right here is one of my Ipsy bags, but besides that, it is full of change, so not just any change, you're talking massive quarters, lots of silver change, so we have a lot of money in here, let's see if I can, so this is my change, this is the change that I've been saving for two months. Um, usually it's from month to month, but um, this time I decided to save it for two months. Last time I saved it for a month, I had $25 to go and shop. So, um, how did I get all this change? Um, actually, I pay everything in cash. So everything, my gas, my groceries, everything gets paid in, ga in cash. All my spending money is cash. I do not use my debit card, and I try to not use any of my credit cards. So everything gets paid in cash, and all my change gets put into so when I'm ready to go to the mall and spend some cash, I take this to the coin star and I get dollars for it. So today I'm going to show you a haul. I'm going to take this in, I'm going to get money for it, and then I'm going to tell you how much I got and show you all the things that I bought with this savings and my $20 a week budget. So whatever's in here plus $20, then I'll show you what I purchased. So. Stay tuned so you can see all the fun things that I get to buy today. So, I hope you like this video and I'll be back with a haul. Hey everybody, so I am back and I am so excited to tell you guys how much money I did save by just saving change. Anyway, I went to my local coin star and I turned in all of my change. Now keep in mind with the coin star you do pay a fee. You do pay nine cents for every dollar. So if you don't want to pay that fee, um, perhaps your local bank will do the same thing that the Coinstar does. Um, none of the banks locally um, will do that for me. Um, they don't do it anymore. So I did have to go to Coinstar. So I did end up paying nine cents for every dollar. Um, so all of my change ended up being thirty-four forty-seven. 
When it was all said and done, I got $34.47. I took the $0.47, cents, I put it back into my little savings bag, and then I took the $34, I added um, my $20 that I allot myself each week to spend, and I got $54. So um, $54, I took on a shopping spree. I also did go to Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. Um, if you don't know anything about Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, everything is like 50 to 75% off. Some things are even 85% off. So huge money savings there. On top of the semi-annual sale, I did have a $10 off at Victoria's Secret, so I did do a little bit of couponing um, that helped me save a lot more money and buy a few more things. So um, yeah, so let's start off with Victoria's Secret. Um, so yeah, the semi-annual sale, I think they have another sale around Christmas time or after winter or going into spring, something like that. Anyway, I did buy a couple of new fragrance. Um, these two fragrance, um, Midnight Mimosa, you can see that, and the Body Spray. More than likely, these are not gonna be um, available anymore. Those are the things that usually go on the semi-annual sale. Um, I bought some more lotion and another fragrance. Um, these are Pink Fun and Fearless. So these ended up being $3 each. Um, one of these was $5.25, one of these was 6 and then I had my $10 off. So for all four of those, I spent $7 and like 55 cents or something like that. So um, that was my steal at Victoria's Secret. So, you know, a little bit of money went a long way. Um, the next stop that I made is uh, Tilly's. This is kind of... I don't know, kind of a skater shop, almost like a Pack Sun, but I feel like the prices are more reasonable there um, than at Pack Sun. So there I picked up two things. I picked up this three pack of headbands. Um, these were not on sale, nor did I have a coupon for. These were normally $5.99, so I spent $6 on those. Um, and then I bought this really awesome bandana to wear on my hair as a headband, because I'm in love with the color. This was um, normal price, it was $3.99, so those are the two things that I picked up at Tilly's. Um, last store at the mall I went shopping at was H&M, which one is one of my absolutely favorite stores ever. Um, and I had been looking at this dress, but did not want to pay the $25 they were asking for. And to my surprise, it was on sale or clearance um, for $15. So I totally picked that up. So this has little birds on it and it is like a peachy pink color, a mid-length dress. Um, it ha comes with a little belt and then the back buttons all the way up and it has a little sheer panel. So, right. And then of course, um, the new season, H&M always has one of these fashion slash sale magazines. Um, it has a lot of good fashion tips in it, and then of course a lot of the things that H&M sells. Um, and sometimes they even have DIY, so um, things to make on your own. So I always pick one of these up, and they're free. So a freebie at H&M. Oh, I can't forget. I also picked another thing up at H&M. Um, and a fingernail polish. So this is a nice glittery pink and silver-ish color um, that I picked up. Uh, the fingernail polish was $4.95. So can't wait to try that. Um, so there we go. I got two new lotions, two new body sprays. So far I have a new dress, a magazine, one fingernail polish, um, one bandana, two um, head, three headbands so far in my shopping spree. And I'm not done yet. I stopped at two more places. Um, so the next place is Walmart. Um, I picked up a new BB cream. Um, this normally goes for $7, um, but there was a coupon on it that says redeem now and it was $2 off. So I paid $5 for the new BB cream. By the way, I've already tried and I actually have it on today. Um, and I really like it. Um, it has a decent coverage and it even has a 30 SPF. 
so that is definitely a plus. So I do like this. Um, I also got this coverall, Wet n Wild, um, for my purse so I can carry around the powder to freshen up in medium. Um, these, this was only like $2.97 um, at Walmart. Um, and then this color is just, um, I think it's just a medium, so. All right, last but not least, I stopped at Sally Beauty Supply. Um, and I picked up these metal duckbill clips. Um, I picked up a large box that had 12 clips in it and they were like $3.69 with my Sally's card, so another discount because I do have a Sally's card. I do get a discount um, on things that I buy there and I got these to use for pin curls, for large pin curls in my hair so I can give this nice little beach wave. Um, so I can do a non-heat curl set in my hair. So I'm going to give that a try um, and stay tuned if you want to hear about how that hair do goes. Um, I'd be glad to do a tutorial if it works out superb for me. So just comment down below. And the last thing I did purchase at Sally Beauty Supply is this Color Brilliance Semi-Permanent Hair Color. So it is in the color Light Warm Brown. So I don't know when I'm gonna use this um, but I got this wild idea that I was gonna darken my hair a little bit um, so we shall see I will keep you posted and obviously next time if I on my next video if I have darker hair you'll know that I did it so yeah again this is color brilliance in um, the shade light warm brown so that is my what should we call it change savings shopping haul um but yeah hopefully this helped you hopefully this i don't know got you thinking about saving a little bit of money saving your change for a rainy day so to speak um and also on top of that you know using some coupons you sign up for victoria secrets emails you get coupons all the time free pannies ten dollars off um, buy one get one you get lots of free stuff when and you sign up for Victoria's Secrets and if you have the app so pink nation app so there's some saving tips when it comes to Victoria's Secrets also become a club member for Sally's um, because you do get um, you know some discount um, a couple of you know tips on saving some money but still being able to shop so hopefully this was a good video hopefully you enjoyed it um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. I'd be happy to show you a hair tutorial um, with my new duck bill clips. Um, and maybe some hairdos with my bandanas and my new um, headbands. You know, let me know what you want to see. Maybe a lookbook. Me wearing my new dress. So let me know. Comment down below. Follow me on Facebook. Me, uh, follow me on Twitter. You know, check out my pictures on Instagram, and you can even follow me on Pinterest. So, hope to see you soon with a new video, um, and hope you enjoy. So, thumbs up, and we'll talk to you later.